Sabko Jayesu. Very good morning to one and all. Dear and Reverend Father Rector, Dr. Paul Achandi CMI, Dear Professor Wilson Adatugaran, Dean, Faculty of Philosophy, Honorable Rectors, Prefects of Studies, Professors, Scholars, and dear participants of the webinar on Fratelli Tutti. At the very outset, may I congratulate the Dean, staff, and students of the Faculty of Philosophy, DVK, and its affiliated institutions, Deepal, Pushpashma, and De Masanut for organizing jointly the webinar on the papal encyclical Fratelli Tutti, meaning brothers all. The very logic of Fratelli Tutti to borrow an expression from Martin Luther King Jr. is, we must learn to live together as brothers and sisters or perish together as fools. Fratelli Tutti is a message of Jesus encouraging us to recognize one another as brothers and sisters and to live accordingly in the common home that God the Father entrusted to us. The 287 paragraph encyclical is a summary statement of Pope Francis' social teaching in which the Holy Father reminds us, you and me, especially in the backdrop of social distancing caused by the pandemic COVID-19, that we ought to love our brothers and sisters as much as we would love them when they are with us. The papal encyclical Fratelli Tutti, to my mind, is a clarion call for an exodus. I like to present Fratelli Tutti using an analogy from the Old Testament, the grand narrative of the Exodus event. The Exodus, as we read in the Bible, unfolds the story of the Israelites who were delivered by Yahweh from the land of Egypt under the leadership of Moses and Aaron to the promised land of Canaan. In the papal encyclical, the story of the Exodus is not confined to the Israelites, but embraces Fratelli Tutti, brothers and sisters all, namely the entire human family. Following the model of St. Francis of Assisi, Pope Francis shows his openness of heart, which transcends differences of origin nationality, color, or religion. The encyclical thus aims at promoting a universal aspiration toward fraternity and social friendship. The biblical exodus begins from the land of Egypt, but for Pope, he should begin from a close world, that is in chapter one, darkened by clouds and enslaved with various plagues like loss of historical consciousness, the throwaway culture, the violation of human rights, conflicts and war, suspicion of immigrants, and the superficiality of digital connection that leads to loneliness, fear, uh, and insecurity. In other words, it's a cry of the humanity to deliver them from the world of evils, which celebrates the elevation of the individual concerns over those of the whole humanity. This exodus envisages a new Canaan, in the words of Pope Francis, an open world, that's in chapter three, where there is bonding, where there is communion and fraternity built on true bonds of fidelity. It is an open world where there is recognition of the inherent dignity of all persons, especially those who are vulnerable, poor, or suffering. In economic terms, Pro Francis states that human dignity should entail 
the right to sufficient opportunities for his or her integral development. It's an open world where the natural right to private property will be secondary to the universal destination of created goods. In short, is an open world with open hearts where all are brothers and sisters. That is Fratelli Tutti. This exodus from the closed world to the open world is not guided by the chosen heroes like Moses and Aaron, but by the global giants and powers like politics and religion that fulfill the roles of Moses and Aaron respectively. A better politics, chapter five, Pope argues, protects the work as an essential dimension of social life. The task of better politics is to find a solution to all that attacks fundamental human rights, such as social exclusion, the marketing of organs, weapons and drugs, sexual exploitation, child labor, terrorism and organized crime, etc. Moreover, the better politics, Pope explains, is a politics centered on human dignity and not subject to finance. In the context of better politics, Pope also advocates the reform of the United Nations in order to give shape to the concept of family of nations working for the common good and the eradication of property. A true religion, that is chapter eight, pop things must be at the service of fraternity in our world. In Fratelli Tutti, Pope asserts that the essential role the different religions of the world should play is fostering universal fraternity. For religions remind humanity of the existence of a transcendent truth, which is a source of human dignity. Hence the Pope calls for greater collaboration and dialogue among religions for the common good, and especially for the promotion of the poor. Just as the Israel were fed with manna and water during the Exodus, the brothers and sisters in their journey from the close world to the open world are nurtured by the heavenly manna and water, namely love and faith. True love, chapter two says Pope, impels us toward universal communion. For love on the one hand draws us out of ourselves and on the other draws the ones we love into ourselves. Love thus calls for growth in openness and the ability to accept others as part of a continuing adventure with a great sense of mutual belonging. In this context, the parable of the Good Samaritan is presented as a model par excellence. The Holy Father sees in the parable a reminder that the natural love experience for our family members should be consciously extended to those who are strangers to us. This invitation to care for strangers in need, as Bob demands, must be expressed both personally case by case and communally united as a family. Each new day rise Pope should be seen as an opportunity to include, integrate, and lift up the fallen. Finally, faith, that's chapter eight, faith in God the Father, the creator of all human beings for Pope Francis is the ultimate foundation upon which Fratelli Tutti is built. As believers, Pope writes, we are convinced that without openness to the father of all, there will be no solid and stable reasons for an appeal to fraternity. As believers, we are challenged to return to our sources, to what is essential, that is worship of God and love for our neighbor, one and one only command of Jesus. Dear professors, scholars, and participants, let us vouch to make the dream of Pope Francis 
a reality. Dream of a single human family as fellow travelers, homo viato, sharing the same earth, which is our common home, oikos. Each of us bringing the richness of his or her belief, each of us with his or her own voice as brothers and sisters all that is Fratelli Tutti. Thank you. May God bless us all.